Hi, hope you all are having a good weekend. This Monday was a World Heart Day and through this week while we were posting about heart health on our handle, we decided we will talk about a very important aspect of heart health this Saturday. Over the past few years, sadly we have seen many incidences of heart attack and heart ailments at a very early age. In fact, research has shown that five patients who have suffered from a heart attack, at least one was 40 years of age or less. So why this trend of early heart attacks and early heart ailments in life? So as such, fat deposition in our arteries begins very early in life, in childhood for that matter. And recent lifestyle changes mean that bad fat is consumed with processed foods or convenience food very early in life. And to add to it, activity levels have decreased compared to what, we, what they were two to three decades ago. Gadgets from TV remotes to vacuum cleaners to blenders and dishwashers have made our lives less physically strenuous. To add to it, stress has increased, competition has increased, and there is stress to achieve more at a younger age. But with all these changes, our nutrition and food has not adapted to compensate for this changed lifestyle. This has caused higher incidences of heart attack and heart ailments at an early age. We see around, especially with many of our clients at Curo, that small symptoms, small warning signals that come at an early age. Cholesterol that is at borderline, triglyceride levels are at borderline, hypertension and things like these that indicate poor heart health. But when these warning signal comes in, we often think it's okay. Either we do minor or perhaps no intervention, take some medications to correct it and carry on with our lives. Ideally, these are the warning signals that major lifestyle and food corrections are needed, which if not done, slowly compound and in few years later, we get a major jerk of a serious heart ailment. So today we wanted to share a few foods that are particularly harmful and increase the risk of heart attack and heart ailments. Let's see the first one. The first one is trans fats. Trans fats increase your bad cholesterol and lower your good cholesterol. And the example of these trans fat foods are donuts, cookies, crackers, muffins, Foods that are made with shortenings and partially hydrogenated vegetable oils. And so if you spot ingredients that has partially hydrogenated oils on the food packet, we must try either to avoid them or to limit these foods. The second element that is harmful is saturated fats, which again increase your bad cholesterol. Some foods that contain saturated fats are fatty lamb, pork, chicken with skin, lard, butter, cheese. And there are certain plant-based foods as well, such as palm oil and coconut oil and its product, also contain primarily saturated fats. Now the third harmful in food intake that may increase your risk of heart ailments is diets that are low in fiber. Fiber in our foods act like broom in our house. They sweep up the toxins from our body. Modern diet, which is often low on fiber, is in fact a slow killer and um, eventually increases the risk of heart attacks. Now, diets that are low in antioxidants, that is, if you are restricted only to a few types of foods and you don't consume them, don't consume a variety, then there are lesser antioxidants in your diet. On the other hand, if your diet has a variety of items like vegetables, fruits, and your diet looks colorful, it is known to be a heart protective diet. So be conscious of the foods that you eat and be conscious of the foods that increase the heart ailments and then avoid them or reduce their frequency. Make conscious efforts to build a healthy heart today so that in long term, you are heart healthy. Thank you.